We're joined now by Republican Congressman Ed Royce. He is the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee uh, and a Republican from Orange County. Congressman, what is your reaction to the president's speech? Well, I think uh, we're in agreement here on one thing, and that is after two Americans were beheaded and you've had the death of uh, so many people victimized by this organization, they've threatened the capital of, uh, capitals of Europe and the United States. So I think Given that, we want to go forward and see a plan executed that destroys ISIL. But you support the plan itself? Well, we're going to have the Secretary of State next week before my committee, and that will give us an opportunity to actually uh, get some of the details. What we would like to see, of course, and what we've heard is, uh, is possible based upon our conversations with ambassadors, is that some of the Arab states would help pay for this. Or the Saudis might uh, help on the training base for the Free Syrian Army. At the same time, NATO may come in. We've talked to several ambassadors from different countries that might supply their air forces for the airstrikes. We don't want to see U.S. troops on the ground, and we're not going to support that. We think the ground forces should be supplied by the Kurds, by the Iraqi security forces, by the Free Syrian Army. So there's a lot of details here yet to work out. But in concept, what we want to see is a strategic plan which has the Arab League help pay for this operation and other partners brought in to assist the United States. This needs to be, you know, a, an alliance all focused on destroying ISIL. One of the big questions, of course, is what's going to happen inside Syria. The president talked about that he may uh, use airstrikes in Syria, but those have not been authorized yet. Do you think that airstrikes in Syria are a good idea? Well, the reason you'll ultimately have to do the airstrikes in Syria is because the training of these young fighters is being done at their base camps there right over the border from Iraq. And when you consider that the first rule of counterterrorism is not to allow sanctuary, don't allow a safe haven where they can plan and train and learn to make bombs and learn infantry tactics. So those Chechenian officers and other terrorists that are training them there right now, we, we need to take those bases out and take all the personnel on those bases out. Now that will take airstrikes, and we have the capability in the United States, as do our NATO allies, to execute on that. We need to. We've done it in the past in Yemen, you know, in, in Pakistan, taking out al-Qaeda leadership. This is an al-Qaeda affiliate that needs to take, be taken out because it's the most brutal uh, of the offshoots of al-Qaeda. One of the, the questions is whether Congress will vote to authorize this. Uh, some have said that there's no time before the midterm elections. Do you think that there should be a congressional vote before the midterm elections authorizing what President Obama was talking about tonight? I think there will be a vote. I think the vote is actually going to be on the appropriations uh, in order to underwrite the support for the Free Syrian Army and, and for the military operation here. Uh, I think the president asserts, of course, uh, as commander in chief, you know, he says, I'm protecting Americans. Uh, the United States already gave an authorization to go after Al Qaeda. This is a part of Al Qaeda, an offshoot. You know, he, he makes those arguments. But at the end of the day, I think we will have a vote in Congress on, you know, funding this operation. That will probably be the, the, the vote of record. Uh, and I think it will pass overwhelmingly because, frankly, uh, the, given the threats that have been made against the U.S. homeland and against our European allies, uh, this organization is going to have to be taken down. All right. Well, thank you very much for the time. We appreciate it. Congressman Ed Royce from Orange sure. County. Thank you, sir.